Hello, I'm John Nicholas, Senior Advisor here at the Treasury Today Group, and I have been involved with the Adam Smith Awards programme since it launched 15 years ago. Welcome to the Adam Smith Awards 2022, a Winner's Guide podcast series. In last month's episode, Meg Coates, our joint publisher and head of operations, explained the new categories we have included this year. In this final episode, episode three, I will explain the criteria for entry, some tips to help you, and what our judges look for when making their decisions. The basic criterion for submissions is that the end user of the solution entered is a corporate and that they can demonstrate best practice and innovation as evidenced by any of the following. Outstanding cost savings, an above average return on investment. Perhaps it's an optimal account or treasury structure. Quantitative improvements in efficiency, cutting edge technology. Perhaps it's a tailor-made solution. It could be an exceptional implementation in terms of budget and or time. Or maybe the solution has achieved a quality accreditation. Deals may be in any currency, country or region and only deals being implemented between January 2021 and April 2022 will qualify. So here are some tips for you. You should provide as much information as you can for each nomination, which can include diagrams and other supporting material. The more information you can provide, the better. However, it is also important to ensure the submission is concise and targeted. Focus on the challenges you faced and the solution that has been implemented or is in the process of being implemented. Describe the benefits, both qualitative as well as quantitative. If you feel that the submission may qualify in more than one category, please tick the relevant categories up to a maximum of three on the nomination form. There are separate nomination forms for our trio of individual categories. These are a rising star, woman of the year, and corporate treasurer of the year. And what do our judges look for? Winning submissions will really focus on the reasons behind the implementation and the outcomes. It's not about how big the company is, nor how many people were involved in the project, nor the industry sector. So try to answer the following questions as fully as possible. Why was the solution necessary and what were the challenges it addressed? Why was it the best solution for our company? How is it different or innovative? And how is best practice demonstrated? How has the solution benefited our company? And how will the solution help our company going forward? Our judges use an objective scoring methodology, which focuses on five key measures. So please ensure your nomination clearly addresses each of the following. One, best practice. Two, innovation. Three, the benefits, both quantitative as well as qualitative. Four, the geographic scope. And finally, the breadth of the solution. And here is what Meredith Vance, Senior Vice President and Treasurer of NTT Data, our highly commended top treasury team in 2021, had to say about their award. My team is extremely honored to be nominated and accept this prestigious award. I think some of the key attributes of my team, which contributed to our success, are the diverse backgrounds of our team. We are a team that brings different treasury and finance experiences, size, complexity of companies that we've worked for, and our cultural backgrounds, 
We represent multiple ethnicities, speak many languages across the team, and we have a significant number of female leaders, which helps promote the company's win initiative, and I think is a great achievement in the finance organization. We're proactive, driven team, and each member understands their role and responsibilities, expectations, and it makes it easier, I think, to drive results when everyone understands what and how they will contribute. Maybe your organization can secure this accolade in 2022. So why not enter now? Nominations close at midnight on Monday, 11th April. So you have just a few weeks left to submit. We look forward to receiving your submissions and the very best of luck. Thank you for listening. To hear more of our podcast episodes and discover all our other audio content, please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you.